game top of the morning man ah uh, yes today we back on the 96 impala man we're working on we got it pulled in the garage already we got a few things we gonna add on to the car but in the meantime man y'all go ahead and like share subscribe to this channel man i'm changing the name you already know i'm changing the name to the channel to coming in hot this is the first video coming in hot right here so you here the first to watch it man go ahead and comment let me know you was here to watch this video man but yeah so yeah 96 impala coming in hot man we about to put the compressor on for the ac and also we're putting on a new fan motor blower yeah putting on those two things man so we gotta have some ac for the summer it's, it's hot man it's like 105 106 in texas it get hot in texas man i should have been did this but i was just procrastinating and then taking on these trips so i just didn't really want to mess with the car so but we're here now and i'm getting it done so i already got my parts over here man i'm gonna show y'all what's going on my new fan my new blower right here new ac uh one two three maybe four bolts for this and i think it may be three bolts for this so it shouldn't take that long but i'm gonna take my time because it's my first time doing it this is my first time doing it so so yeah man I ain't nothing special man um i go on youtube if i don't know nothing i go to youtube and try to learn as much as possible and then i do it if i know that it's easy to do then i go ahead and do it man instead of spending that money and getting people to do something that you can actually go out here and do it yourself. Save you some money, you know what I'm saying? That money can go towards something else. So if you don't know that by now, that's what I do. All right, with that being said, we gotta take this off. And that thing back there, and we're gonna get that fan blow out. We're gonna get that blow out. So we're gonna do that first while this car cool down because I crunk it up a little bit. So it's a little hot, so I'm gonna let that cool down. I'm gonna tag this first while the engine cool down. So it's like, what, eight o'clock in the morning? Man, we on, I'm trying to get on it for this heat. The store beat me up, got me a little fan out here. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't gonna be able to hold it, record it, but I'll show y'all a few steps. I'll do the best that I can to uh, show y'all step by step. Like I said, we're gonna unscrew this. I think this whole thing come out and it's still a pad right there. That come out. But let me get to that first. All right, that's where I'm at. Two screws, one in the back and one of those screws come from the front. It's already about ready to drop out. So I got that one little screw right there and it's gonna fall out. And I just unplug. Uh, this white plug in, this black plug in, and this big old plug in right there. So, you ain't gotta take all your wires apart, but just a few of them. And then it's ready to fall out. So, you don't need no special tool to get that screw in the back. You can still reach it with that. That's what I use. I'm gonna get this last bolt out and turn y'all back on. Give me a sec. So yeah, I went on here and took this out too. So I run loose, take this out. When you pull it out, you don't want to wrap it with it. Get that out the way. And it should be to fall out. I don't know if this is my blower motor or what, but you know what I'm saying? I went ahead and got a new one anyway. So, I don't know, man. They, they sprayed water in my car and it just stopped blowing. Everything stopped working. So I'm just putting new parts on everything, man. I ain't gonna play with it. Just trying to eliminate the problem. Well, it might be different. Well, it might be different. So this the new one going in. Y'all can 
can see the comparison. See the comparison. Oh, got a little handle and everything. Oh, this ain't got no handle. Like this one. Oh, I gotta take that out. Okay, good. Okay, okay. And then the plug. All right. So, y'all see the difference. All right. It's my first time doing this. I'm gonna show y'all some. It's been so free. The whole thing spinning. This thing is. I can't, I can't turn it, but this one I can turn. So, this this gotta be bad, I'm hoping. But I think it gotta be bad, so I don't know, man. Y'all get in the comment section, let me know uh, if this a bad one or not, if it don't turn, cause this was, it might be my sign right there, so. Anyway, let me get back to it. So yeah, all three screws in. Back. So it's wired. There it is. And that one. We all on man. Fit flush. Shaking or moving that like that, man. Everything worked out. So now I gotta just plug everything back up. And yeah, this will be done. So I'm plug out my wire back up. Everything plugged up. Alright, just reverse the process, man. All right, that's how we look. We're all back together, baby. We're all the way in there. All right. Now we gotta tag this AC, baby. So let me break it down, man. Break it down for y'all. So this the new one. I also got another one. It's, it's for sale. This worked perfectly fine. This is one that was in the uh, the car. The dude I bought it from said he was about to do the AC, but never got around to it. So this is the compressor pad. I don't think I'm gonna take off with this boat right here because I'm gonna need that. But everything else, I don't need. I just need that boat. Put it on this one. Or I'll put it on a new one once I take that one out. So give me a minute, man. Let me tag this real fast. All right, gotta try to show y'all the best way I can. Well, there was one bolt, the other one is right there, and the third one's on the bottom. So, I ain't gonna show you that one. And then you have a bolt in the back. Uh, if I can get a camera on it, it's like a little nut in the back. Get that nut right there. And we're taking that off. That's it. So you can pretty much get to all of them, man. I'm gonna unplug my battery again. Uh, we're gonna take the belt off, get them nuts out, and get that AC on the body there. This one should have oil in it, so I shouldn't have to fill it up with no oil. Just only uh free oil. Uh, I got some somewhere around here, but I'll get it out once I get to that step. So let me tag this, man, and put y'all back on. All right, guys, got it unplugged. I got my boat broke already. Now, I just gotta get to this back one back here. Y'all definitely ain't gonna be able to see that, but one more boat, one more nut, and it's coming up out of there, man. That's how fast and easy it is. Let's go on YouTube, man. They show you. Man, just come out here and just put the effort in doing yourself. That's all I did. So, I'm learning as I go too. First time doing the AC. I never had to do the AC on here. All my AC work in every car I had. First time me doing this. So, yeah, if I can do it, you can do it, man. Just lay a little nut out here, man. We're gonna snatch this thing up out of here. Yeah, right, so y'all, what's going on, bro? Put my hand on this screw. Uh, 
see my finger. I know a little blurry, but I'm literally returning it with my hand. And it's coming out. That's how I'm turning. It's about off, man. And all I gotta do is take these bolts off in the front. So y'all can also notice that, uh, I guess mine didn't have nothing in it really, cause it's not leaking or nothing. You know what I'm saying? The line is off. It ain't leaking or nothing. So I guess it didn't have nothing in there. It ain't leaking. So I'm gonna get it up out of here, man. We'll get that new one back in. Oh yeah, we're coming in hot, baby. Alright guys, I see why it just don't want to come out. It's a little bracket down there with two bolts. It actually bolted on the side of the motor. Uh, let's see if I can zoom. Y'all see that bolt right there? I got loose right here. So yeah, it's a little bracket that's holding it. It also go towards the, uh, the motor. So I got to take that off. At least one of them and try to move it. And try to maneuver this uh, AC up out of here, man. Uh, hopefully I don't have to take both of them off. Hopefully I can take that one and just try to move it like that, so. But we'll see, man, we'll see. But yeah, ran into a little issue, man. But I'm getting there, though, I'm getting there. I'm gonna try to grab this, man, and try to pull it out. All right, y'all, got the wrestling and twisting. I finally got it out. Uh, yeah, I left the bracket on there, end up prying it down a little bit, and it came right on that. I'm not gonna use that bracket. So I ain't worried about that. But it will freeze up. It will freeze up. See this whole thing, it still, it turned freely. I mean, it does, but the front of it don't. Don't feel smooth like this. I don't know, man. I don't think it's no good. New one. Right, let me break this one down and get it ready to go in. So I can throw everything back and I end up taking my alternator out to get a good pry on it. End up bending my bar. This side though, got out. Yeah, that's what I got it for. But yeah. Alright, let me get this one ready to go in, man. Reverse the process. All right, y'all, we all done up. Press it on. Alternator on. I'm trying to crank it up, man. See what we got. Give me one second. All right, guys, we got AC. I thought it was my initially my thing back there. That piece right there. I watch uh, OTG Mechanic. He said that used to be a common problem, but I just changed my knobs around and uh, it came right on, so I ain't had to do that. I ain't had to do that at all. Came on, so I got AC, now I gotta charge it up. This all the problem. Yeah, here. Yeah, we got action, baby. We got action. So yeah, let me charge this thing up, man. This AC going on over here. So let's, let's complete this. Okay, I'm gonna put everything back together. Charge it up. All right, guys. I don't know what's up with this can. It's not doing right for me. I had for a long time. The pressure probably going out of it. So I had to get me another one. All right, I'm gonna charge this thing up, man, and let it do what it do. I'm gonna crank this thing up, man. Let's get everything set up. All right, AC on. It's still leaking a little bit, so I'm gonna go get a um, like one of the little swivels y'all can't see, but I need to tighten that boat up right there. Hey, tighten it up a little bit more. It's just hard to get, and what I got ain't getting it. It ain't sitting on that flush so I can turn it. So I'm gonna go back to the parts, parts though. I'm gonna go back to the parts though. 
gonna get that. You know, turn that screw up, man. That should be all good. But everything, everything clicking. Just like I need. It's another thing I gotta. It's another few things I gotta tackle. I gotta tackle this light right here because this. I gotta tackle this light, it keeps dropping off and on like that. I don't like that, so I'm gonna fix that too. And, uh, man, that's about it, I think, for right now. Yeah. Got AC now, I'm sweating. Find it, but I got, oh, I had to change shirt. I don't wanna get my white t-shirt messed up, but. Got that together, man. I'm gonna go over here to the parts store, get this little swivel, tighten it up, and uh, put the rest of the free on in there. Because it's leaking just a little bit, not much, but a little bit, so it's not holding any pressure like it's supposed to. I'm gonna tighten it up, and then I'm done. What's up, y'all? Day two. We got the car running, messing with the AC. Uh, I got it clicking on, it's on, but it's still blowing high air. I believe it gets some air from somewhere. Because when I put the free on in there to charge it up, it clicks off. That's when I know I got it. That's when I know it's overcharged, right? So I purge it, and it go back to normal clicking everything. But it still ain't been cold. So I feel like there ain't enough free going in there because I have to stop like every so I cold. You know what I'm saying? So y'all give me some hints man before I take it down here to the AC shop. But they really let me know what's going on. Uh, but like I said I got everything on ain't nothing leaking. None of that. So yeah.
due time. We'll get it. Fix my light. It ain't dimming on me now. You hit it. No dimming. No flickering. Need to fix that. Both of them work. Look at that roof. So I'm gonna just take it to the AC shop and get it charged up the right way. And I don't do that. Yeah, man, it's my 96 Impala, man. It's coming, it's coming along pretty good. For y'all that don't know, that follow me on social media. This trunk was like off a little bit, like close on one side. I did get that fixed. That's adjusted. That's good to go. And once I get my hood adjusted, you get that adjusted too. See if it can fit down better than that. So man, we locking it down, man. Then we're gonna get to the sunroof. And I gotta iron out the all these little, little kinks along the way too. So I ain't gotta go back to them. But definitely gonna put the roof, transmission, beef it up. Then we're gonna get to the good stuff, the inside and paint. Not in that particular order, but that's how we're gonna roll, baby. That's all I got for this video, man. 